great on SCV production. As you can see, we've both stopped. Um, oh, we both have one training now. Uh, he's training it here. I'm training at my only base. Um, I am putting a command center at the high yield expansion, hoping to catch up. Uh, we do see Vikings coming in. I don't know if I'm a big fan of Vikings. Uh, I'm iffy on them. And at uh, Terran versus Terran, um, it, they'd be good against um, Medivacs, but you know, if 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 you're seeing Medivacs, then you're seeing Marines, and Marines can take those out. Um, if it's a large army, a few Vikings focusing down those Medivacs will be good, but you have to realize that they will be sacrificial. Um, you will be losing them in um, large quantities. There's not really much else that they're good for. Maybe a Banshee Harass, which is which would explain, once again, I, I assume he thinks I'm going for a Banshee Harass, even though he has no clue. Um, or, no no clue. Uh, he, I'm not going for it. I'll spoil that up and down. I rarely go for the Banshee Harass. Definitely not against a Terran. Um, I'm the only... Uh, the only one I would really consider doing that for would be a uh, Zerg player, because I assume that, uh, you know, Terrans can get the muscle turrets up, and uh, the Protoss can get a, a, an Observer, but Z Zerg, they don't necessarily think of morphing one of their Overlords early on into the game. He's looking around, looking for, uh, where am I getting my expansions? Um... I guess trying to get an early warning system with these sensor towers on when I send in my army. Um, I could probably have sent them in a lot earlier, but not now, not with all of these siege tanks. Uh, as you can see, he's... Uh, maybe that's it. He's got a, a balance here between the siege tanks, uh, which would only attack ground, and missile turrets, which would only attack air. So he, I think he feels that he's going for a full, uh, full defense there. Uh, he does spot my high yield expansion. I don't know. I don't see these Vikings yet. Uh, my my army's just kind of chilling out outside, um, letting these SCVs there. That's I can barely see them on my mini map now, so that's probably why I didn't see them before. Uh, but yeah, they're just hanging out. Not sure if he plans on dropping them soon. Uh, to take out the SCVs in the high yield, um, but he does know I have it. I do Psylock myself again at 94, so that's when I move in. Um, usually that's that that's my cue. Oh, I, I'm psylock again? Well, then some of these guys have got to die. <laughs> but let's see here. Let's slow it down for you. As they come in... Oh, just utter destruction. A bad micro again. This missile turret's taking out these medevacs. Siege tanks completely decimating my infantry here. As you can see, I've only taken out one. I stim back there. How many do I lose? Oh, so many going down. Um... It's not even close. I, I really should be backing out, but I don't assume that he's got so many tanks. Just tank layer after layer after layer. They're like ogres or onions here. <laughs> Siege tanks. And I do lose that last medevac. Oh, and I move in. Um, harassing the SCV line here. But when I did see that he went mech, I should have changed my style because... Oh, he does move those siege tanks. I don't believe they were moved, just they were they keep going, so I lose So I lose all my army there. Uh he does save most of his SCVs. Uh good micro on his part. Keeping uh siege tanks just like I said, layer upon layer. As soon as I defeat one, there's another one popping up. And he, on the other hand, lowers his Vikings. I've got nothing really left to counter him, so he is ta able to take out almost all of my SCVs. So I'm madly making more. Madly? Wow. I'm making up words as I go along at this point. At this point, yet again. Here we go. Uh, he is getting his second expansion. Still not uh, 
Going at the, the natural, uh, neither am I. That would have been great at this point. At this point. I will stop eventually. Um, I do get a sensor tower. Um, not sure why. I don't, I don't think I saw him his, but they do show up on the minimap. Whether or not you uh, they're yours or his, uh, that little that large circle in the minimap will show up. So I do know he has two. I guess I'll, you know, I've, I'm thinking to myself, I'll try it again. Um, but I can tell you right now, I've tried them a few times. I have not found an effective use for them. Most of the time, I think they're a waste of minerals, and they don't even cost that much. Uh, but if you use them properly, uh, and I'm just not, uh, let me know. He is sending his mech, uh, lo a small mech army of, uh, oh, it's getting bigger with those new siege tanks. Siege tanks. Um, two Hellions and one Marine in the middle. Uh, I'm surprised he lives uh, <laughs> as he gets squashed between those two siege tanks. Uh, we do see one Medivac. Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing with the Medivac. Maybe he feels like he needs to use it for transport. Uh, but let's speed it up here. Uh, not that much happens for quite some time. I do move up way up to the north, uh, northeast here uh, to get my third expansion. Uh, I think I'm outsmarting him, but he had already done that quite a while ago. Here we go. Mech army moving in. It's more than enough to take out um, this uh, little infantry ball. But I don't see them. They move right past me, right into my high yield expansion, where I still have uh, two marines and a marauder just in case. Um, but that's not going to be able to do anything against those siege tanks. And they're sieging up. I still don't see them until... Boom. And now I see him moving in to no avail. He's got too many siege tanks. Uh, the Hellions uh, just there for good measure. Uh, so I do move uh, my large army in. But at this point, it's really... Uh, it's all it's all over. I just don't know it. Neither does he. I, I, it's not something I can really come back from. Um, going back down to one base as he has three. And his army is... Um, Pretty much the most effective counter for Terrans against my army. Uh, once I saw that he was going mech, I should have gotten air. I did not. Um, should have gone for banshees, uh, ravens, battle cruisers, even um, if I got to that point. But. Uh, I still feel like I can come back when I'm playing this game, but as he sees, I still don't have an expansion here. I don't have an expansion here. Um, so I'm really operating off of one base, the second one uh, just turning into an orbital command. Um, and I'm almost mined out of my main base. So really, I am screwed at this point. I'm, I've got nothing coming in. I've got no minerals. And only this uh, new uh, expansion here to get them to get minerals uh, he's pr he's just going for gas off of that third expansion he does morph that into a planetary fortress using that barracks just as scouting at this point and factories continuing to pump out siege tanks siege tanks are just so good uh, he's got full energy on that orbital command Still not mined out of his main. Uh, still doing pretty good on the first expansion. Continuing to amass his army. Um, it's. I, I figure I've got to make a move. So once these siege tanks come in, I just instantly move out. I know that I'm within range. I, I can take at least take these out. But then I become in range of these. Great siege tank micro on Ives' part. Really did win him the game. Uh, just great with that uh, with that build, uh, and which uh, is so good once again against my build. And I am stubborn, stubborn as hell. As you can see, more marauders, more marines. That'll fix my problem. No, 
it's not going to be able to do anything. It, it, once uh, those those siege tanks are up, they're continually uh, being pumped out there. I have no chance. Uh, he would have to leave me alone for a good 10 minutes for me to get an army to take out his base where he just wasn't doing anything. It's just a matter of time. So he does move in. He scouts ahead, making sure there's no ghosts, uh, no banshees, nothing like that, which, of course, I don't have. And there it goes. And I'm down. So, uh, good game for Ive. Uh, this was my first, I feel, legitimate loss. <laughs> uh, that wasn't uh, a blatant rush and one that I just didn't lose uh, due to, to, to bad uh, gameplay mechanics early on in the game. Uh, so, good game for Ive. He does move in here. Um, that should be it. Did a great job. I did not. I did okay. At best. So I do, come on, I, you've got a GG at this point. This is almost just bad taste. There we go. GG, good game. He simply outclassed me today. And uh, I do get better after this. Uh, uh, you should see a, a pretty epic battle on this map later on. Once again, this is Delta Quadrant. I've, great game. You completely outplayed me. Uh, see you guys next time.